guys, welcome to the first video on my second channel. This channel is all about Jody, not Quarter J the streamer, but me. Lifestyle content, beauty content, um, just everything that wouldn't go on my main channel, where you guys are gonna get to know me a little bit more. Today's video is gonna be showing you my updated skincare routine. On my first channel, there is a get ready with me that I show a little bit of my skincare, but as you can already tell, probably from this video, uh, my skin's actually improved a lot. I'm not saying it's perfect, but uh, I don't feel very ashamed to walk around without makeup anymore, which is really new for me. So I'm gonna dive into the products that I'm using, why I'm using them. It'll be my day and night routine. So it's actually pretty late. It's 4.32 p.m. I usually wake up, wash my face, and then, you know, wash my face in the night, at night. But um, today's been kind of hectic. We had another roommate move in, so we were helping with that. And on top of that, um, I've been brainstorming this channel and how to bring it to life. So anyways, we're just gonna pretend it's like nine in the morning. Okay, I don't even wake up at 9 a.m. We're gonna pretend it's, honestly, 4 p.m. isn't really far off from when I wake up. Let me tell you a little bit of my skincare. Could you get, oh God. So as you can tell, my skin is not perfect. Wow, this is not a flattering angle. Okay, so let me show you my skin. I have these freckles that just honestly might be, they might just be sun damage, but I'm gonna, I'm, I've been telling myself they're freckles for years to probably make myself feel better. I used to tan a lot in high school. I'll show you a picture right here. Uh, you know, everyone goes through that phase of trying to, um, you just, that we find ourselves and, and fit in. Everyone at my high school tanned, and it was just kind of the thing to, to, um, that the girls did. For whatever reason, I thought that the more makeup that I wore, the better I would look, no matter how I was doing it or like the technique. So I literally would wear black eyeshadow in the corners of my eyes and then silver, like, sparkle eyeshadow in the corners, put on some. I guess you call it winged eyeliner. I don't know if I can really classify it as that back then because I don't think I really, it looked like shit. I'm just gonna say it now, okay? I didn't used to do my eyebrows. So imagine like your eyes all did super dark, you know, look and then my eyebrows are like empty. They're like no shape, really like you can look at my eyebrows now. Like really splotchy, you know, um, it, so let's just say I, I was never, you know, I didn't get a lot of attention from boys growing up, okay? I look a little silly. So here you can see that I have like some scars, some freckles. Pores on my nose, still a little big and large. I used to pick my pores right here a lot. My forehead, thankfully, has is pretty clear. I've never really struggled with forehead acne, but I would get little bumps. But thankfully I had no cystic acne there, but I did have cystic acne uh, just honestly all over my cheeks. Had really bad acne growing up. I probably have pictures on my phone that I'm using the light for. I'll just link them in the video. Boom. Boom. I always see YouTubers that do that, so I'm gonna do it too. So my water takes a really long time to get warm. So first part of my skincare, I actually end up washing my face with like kind of cold, lukewarm water. Maybe that's helped me. I have no idea. But depending on what's happening, so if I have acne or not, I've been using this. This is Paula's Choice Perfecting Balanced Foaming Cleanser. I'm not gonna lie, the marketing tactics for this worked on me. The words perfect, like perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. I bought it. Light lather easily removes oil and makeup, preserves skin's protective barrier. I've been using this. If I have acne, this is the face wash that saved my life in high school. I could not find a product that worked for me. My mom found Paula's Choice online. This was before uh, she even had like um, a skincare line that was sold in person. It was only online. And so my mom was like, you might as well try it. I did like a mini town underneath my sink because I had tried so many skincare products and none of them worked. I still broke out. And this is the only thing that actually helped. Not saying that it fixed my acne altogether, but it did help. I'm trying not to use this every day. I don't want to dry my skin out too much because I have a lot of actives in my skincare. But on the days that I'm working, or sorry, working out, yeah, right. The days that I'm breaking out or uh, the days leading up to my period every month, you will usually use this. But for now, I'm gonna use this. Take a little bit, foam it up.
Okay, and then I dab my face dry. My towel's over there though. But just know that I dab my face dry, okay? No, 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 don't be rough with your skin. It's like, be gentle, treat your skin like a baby, okay? All right, to prevent myself from looking like an egg this entire video, I'm bringing my hair down. Oh yes, much better. First step in my skincare is, after washing my face, bum bada boom. All right, there's Witch Hazel with Rose Petal. Witch Hazel has just been kind of a savior for me. I have sensitive skin. Um, I use it when my skin is itchy. I use it uh, all over my face. It helps get rid of my little bumps. So a lot of people, or at least me, I had the little bumps that really bother me, especially on my forehead. Witch Hazel helped me with that. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna help you, but it helped me. I go up on my neck, because I don't want wrinkles while that dries. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna brush my teeth. And I know what you're thinking. Jody, it's 4 p.m., haven't you brushed your teeth yet? I don't have to answer my question. Okay, yeah, that feels much better. I should've done that much sooner. The second step to my skincare routine, which I've used for years and will continue to use for years and is not updated uh, in my skincare routine, this isn't new at all, but is Paula's Choice B15 Super Booster, 15% vitamin C with vitamin E. For you, acid. The important part is the vitamin C. Now, mine is oxidized. This is old. I have to buy a new one. The fact that it is orange is not that good. Um, but you know, it do be expensive and I don't I don't want to waste it, so. So I only use this in the day. So I use three drops, which is kind of a lot, but I only use it um, in the morning, so I just might as well like use it up before it oxidizes. And then I'm gonna let it sit that dry, but blah, blah, blah. Usually I go on my phone in this moment while this is drying. Um, okay. Next, this is Sonia Dakar's. I'm still iffy about this product. It's pretty much, it's active as niacinamide. I think niacinamide is a good product. The problem is my skin is really sensitive. So if it is just pure niacinamide, I have trouble using it or incorporating it into my skincare. So I'm trying to use this and I can, I realize that I can use this every day and it does clear up my skin. This is my second time buying it. I think I like it a lot. Anyways, I do a little goop, a little boop -a goop put it all over. I like it because it's gentle. I just don't think that I can use pure niacinamide. A lot of people have heard of the ordinary. So the ordinary sells like niacinamide and a lot of other different products, but the niacinamide that I, oh my gosh, I keep saying this word and it doesn't sound real anymore. The niacinamide that I used from the ordinary was too harsh on my skin. My skin just didn't like it. Also, it's been years since I've tried. This is the new product that I introduced recently when I started to be like, I really wanna to try to get a niacinamide product into my skincare. You know, we'll see what happens. And so far, I've kind of been liking it. Okay, the third product, I'm trying it now. I recently did a haul of Paula's Choice product and I was like, this had such good reviews that I just really wanted to try it. So I'm trying the Omega Complex Serum. I just do a little dupe right now. Put it all over. Most products that I use on my face, I use on my neck and if applicable on the back of my hands. It's kind of habit by now, but I think that it's just like overall skincare, right? Things to show age really fast on your hands, your neck, your face. So I just kind of put it everywhere and hope that maybe in 40 years I'll look great. That's kind of the point, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go into step five. I just use my lotion, my basic lotion that has never broken me out. God bless. Okay, step six, follow strike. Extra Care Non-Greasy Sunscreen. In my last skincare, I used this sunscreen. And while I have nothing against the sunscreen, I think it's really good. It has the requirements that most sunscreens need, or that sunscreens need. I do not like the feeling of it as much as I like this. This one, when you will tell, when it dries, it will like flake off. Not flake off, it's like a wet gush on your face. I don't like that feeling for obvious reasons. So I kind of put that away for a rainy day, and I switched to this one. I shake it before I use it. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very liquidy. The viscosity is very low, but this one goes on much better, and I put it everywhere. It doesn't feel, most sunscreens, I feel like this, I look crazy, and I, this is like I'm going to the beach, you know, I'm not like getting ready, but thankfully, I don't feel bad 
about putting a lot of this on because it goes on so well. And I think that's good. The more sunscreen, the better, right? See, it, um, okay. For me, it looks like it spread really clear. Don't forget to put it all over. So that was my daytime skincare routine. Uh, I'm gonna go with makeup on, but for this video, I'm not gonna show you that. I'm only gonna show you uh, my, my skincare. I'll be back later tonight to show you my nighttime skincare routine and how I remove my makeup. See you guys soon. Okay, so I've had my makeup on pretty much all day and now I'm just gonna go and do my night routine. Some of the products are the same, some of them aren't. I'm gonna start by washing my face. Hold well, on, I gotta take my rings off. And take my false eyelashes off. The way that I take my makeup off, product number one, Paula's Choice Perfect Cleansing Oil. I really like this. It easily gets rid of my makeup. All I do is two pumps and I just, everywhere. And I do this while I'm washing my, or while the water is getting warm. But it just feels like, it just comes off so easily with this. I really like it. Same uh, face wash as my morning routine. Okay, so that was pretty much my step one was my oil cleanser. My step two was the same face wash that I uh, used this morning. My step three, um, I don't use my vitamin C serum at night. Instead, I use either Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This has helped clear up my skin a lot and overall made it brighter. I like it a lot. It is kind of drying though, so I try not to use it every night. Um, and why I kind of switch off between products. So when I say or, I mean I'm either using this toner or witch hazel. In this case, for today, I'm gonna to be using witch hazel. I hear you. Hey, Hello. Hey. Will you mind as well say hi? Hey, how's your tutorial going? It's not tutorial, it's my night skincare routine. Oh, nice. Oh, <gasps> I need to watch it. I try not to use the 2% uh, BHA liquid at the same night that I use my retinol. My skin is too sensitive, it does not like it, so I'm not doing it. Um, but I really like this. So, step four. Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum with retinol. So this has, I think, 0.03% retinol in it. I'm opening my, um, I do So this has 0.03 retinol in it. Um, I originally used this one, which is, has 0.01% retinol in it, and I thought my skin could use a little bit of oomph. I don't want wrinkles. I really, 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 really don't want wrinkles. And since I've been using this, my skin is like, I feel like it's glowing. Maybe that's not true, but I do be liking it. So. A dollop. And then I go in with lotion. Step six, Paula's Choice uh, Daily Skin Clearing Treatment. It's a benzoyl peroxide uh, zit cream. So I don't have any really like strong breakouts right now, but I wanna put it on this little problem spot right here and probably some right here. Just places that I'm like starting to get little bumps. Um, this has saved my life. Been using this since again, high school. Hey, that's it. That's my night routine. Yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna put my night, my night guard in too. Hello, so as you can see, it is a different day. I am in different clothes. Honestly, the last time that I filmed my, filmed? What did I just say? I filmed my skincare video was a really long time ago. I've just been going through a bit of a rough patch mentally and so I didn't have the energy to film. But thankfully my energy is back and so I'm filming this today. So time has passed, my skin pretty much looks the same. My skincare is the exact same, but I did want to take this time to talk to you guys about why I'm passionate about skin and my journey with skin and how I got to where I am today. Oh God, I've had acne since I can remember. I remember in like maybe when I was 11, starting to wear makeup because I had little pimples on my forehead and that was really 
my life. I uh, had minor acne growing up. So when I was like 11, 12, right when about when like my, I got my period, I started getting uh, hormonal acne, definitely like around my chin. And then it started getting cystic in high school. I mean, anyone with acne knows what it feels like. It's just terrible. And you feel like it's the only thing that people are looking at when they look at you. I also like didn't really understand that there was good makeup out there. It feels like makeup has really like improved in the last couple of years. But when I was growing up, um, it just felt like I didn't have a lot of options that came with good coverage, I guess. I would buy drugstore makeup, which probably didn't help my skin that much at the time. I remember trying to just like pile it on to, to get coverage t t to somehow cover my cystic acne and it, you know, never worked. It would come off during the day, so then I'd become even more subconscious. Like my makeup would look like crap. It was just like everything compounded onto another. My insecurities were at an all time high. My confidence was at an all time low, you know? For me, like acne is my Achilles heel. And so it made me so emotional and I would just cry about it all the time. And then people would be like, kind of not very empathetic, but my feelings didn't really get help until I was in my senior year of high school. Went to see a dermatologist, like early senior year of high school to clear it up by May for prom. I mean, I didn't really know anything back then. And so she said, why don't we try putting you on birth control? And my parents were like, eh, I mean, like if that's gonna work for her acne, and I was like, sure, I don't give a crap what it is. Like as long as it's gonna fix my acne. So I started taking uh, birth control pills, which are like releasing hormones systemically. I pretty much had all of the side effects of birth control, except for it clearing my acne. It started clearing my cystic acne a bit, but but I still had tiny little bumps like everywhere. It didn't feel like it really did anything. And instead I just gained weight and was super moody. My body is still different because of me taking birth control. Like I will never ever take systemic birth control again. I'm scarred. I had been taking birth control for a couple months now because I it was what? September to around May. And then I remember like a month after prom, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm getting off of this. And then I had to go on a freaking diet, try to work out to lose 30 pounds that I gained. Oh my God, I could probably show you what I looked like. This was the heaviest I have ever been. Okay, this is also just an unflattering picture in and of itself. That's me. I mean, it's not really a good picture anyways. Uh, I went to another dermatologist that my dad um, had known of for a bit. Oh my God, I went to these dermatologist sessions as if it was therapy because acne really felt like such a problem for me that when I went to the doctor's office, I would talk to them about my acne problems as if I was just like literally talking to a therapist, like how much it affects my life, how much I just can't handle it, my mental break, you know, how I hate it so much, blah, 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 blah you know? Um, and they would just be like, Okay, because <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they hear it all the time. I'm just another patient on their list and he prescribed me antibiotics. He first prescribed me minocycline and spironolactone and we and he wanted me to take them at the same time. Um, I had terrible side effects from minocycline. I'm not kidding you. I have never felt like my emotions were not my own. So I took minocycline and then I was like an emotional mess. I remember, um, being really hungry, but also really nauseous. So I didn't know what to do. So then I was like, maybe I'm gonna puke and I'm trying to get ready for school. And it was already like 5 a.m. and I had to leave for school like 6 a.m. Okay, that's probably not it. It's probably 6 a.m. when I leave school at seven. I remember sitting in my bathroom, like trying to do my makeup and being so stressed because I had to get ready for school and it was school was happening really soon. But then I had to puke and then I didn't know what to do. So I had really bad like weird emotional side effects from this. I have no idea. Um, I remember skipping school that day and my mom like emailing my math teacher and like all my teachers being like, hey, like Jody's me some weird side effects. Like she can't come to school today. My acne was getting better actually. I was still having active checkups with my dermatologist and we had just continued to like um, keep what we had going. Plus he would like prescribe me topicals. But thing was, I started getting like um, discoloration in my legs because you should not be on an antibiotic for two years. So I don't know what that voice was. Cause you shouldn't be on an antibiotic for two years. Duh, because duh. I went to him and I was like, hey, like I don't really feel comfortable being on an antibiotic for this long. Like, do you have any other solutions for my acne? And he was like, uh, no, not really. Like we have a naturopathic doctor that you could see, but it's not like proven to help your acne, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. He's like, but you can try Accutane. And I was like, okay. sign me up. Like, what else am I gonna do? And Accutane honestly changed my life. I like don't have any side effects. I'm like the, you know, like the positive good story that comes from it. I mean, I've heard some horror stories of Accutane. I took vitamin E once or twice a day 
with my Accutane pill, I can't remember. Uh, I wanna say I was on a 40 milligram dose of Accutane for six months. My back was like always hurting though. So my back was always hurting because I was so dry and my lips were so dry and I was cranking, my eyes were dry, my skin was dry, I started like getting little bumps on the back of my hand because I was so dry. But that was when I discovered my love of Aquaphor that I still use and will always use. Thankfully, when I got off Accutane, everything returned back to normal and I don't have any side effects, God bless. That was when my skin had really uh, changed. My skin is at the best it has ever been. My skin would not be where it is at without Accutane because it completely just changed my skin and made it more manageable. During Accutane, my skin had been, I did not see a single zit for like ever. I had the initial breakout and then after that it was like chef's kiss. But then a lot of Accutane still had acne, persistent acne, but it was, it was like, during my periods and like splotchy and it didn't feel as bad. It felt actually manageable with like good makeup. Okay, well that, there has to be more. Like what else can I do? And so that was when I started getting into like Asian beauty routines, which like I guess like I'm not really technically using any Asian beauty products, but I am using like, and whatever, eight step skincare process. Um, and so that was when I really started like trying things, introducing new products, introducing just like, oh, I don't know, a simple vitamin C serum and like, uh, I had been already wearing sunscreen, but things like that and just trying out new things. And now because of the skincare products I use, my skin is like, I mean, I don't wanna say it's perfect, but it is as best as I think it will ever get without maybe like cosmetic procedures. Part of me also thinks that like my perception of what skin should look like is so drastically skewed from social media because I don't really know what like naturally good, actually that's not true. Some of my friends have just perfect skin. So that's what I want. I want like really nice skin, but I think that I would have to pay for some procedures, which maybe will come one day. That's pretty much my skin journey. Ultimately, I've just had acne for forever and finally it's getting better. But if you have acne right now or any like skin problems, I'm, I feel you. I am also still working on my confidence. You know, I hate that my confidence is tied to my physical appearance. I wish that my confidence came from only everything on the inside, but it's really hard to just like disregard what you look like. Just know that I know what it feels like and I hope that you find the products that work for you and and you know, one day maybe you'll be able to sit down and talk about your skincare journey and how you are successful now in, in, in knowing your skin and clearing it and being able to help others. Thank you for watching this video um, and thank you for being patient with me in terms of content creation. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this second channel. I don't know how long I'll be uploading to it or how often, but whenever I do, I hope you enjoy the content that I create and thank you for watching my skincare video. Uh, skincare, as you know, is something that is, I'm very passionate about. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Blech. Leave a comment below. Okay, I don't know. Okay, bye. Have a good one. Goodbye.